Hello and welcome to Logan's Web Thief Found Mission by Shadowspawn. Let's get away from the clanking loud main menu and we'll read uh, the intro text here. I've always been reluctant to work with a partner, but this time the job was too big to handle alone. If I had a reliable fence to work with, I might not have gotten into this mess, but I've never found another fence I could trust like Cutty. I decided to take on Kudget as a partner. He's an independent thief and has managed to stay out of Crags Cleft, as well as make a decent living. He has some contacts outside the city, including a fence who could get rid of a really hot item. We set up a difficult job to rip off a wealthy eccentric, a jewellery collection to be exact. Bribes had to be paid, floor plans and information bought. It took some time to work out a decent plan. Now, somehow, a rumour has been started that someone is going to rip off Lord Vishkill. He's moved the jewellery collection from his display room into his bolt. Kajit went to find out what he could. Now I'm watching two guards standing outside this dump we rented. No one knew we were here. Kudget's been missing for hours. I wonder if he turned me in or got caught. It's probably not a good idea to hang around here anymore. Did Kudget rat you out? Find out what happened to your ex-partner. No sense looking at good, letting a good plan go to waste. Get the jewelry collection. You're leaving town for a while. Get 1,500 gold to live on until you can collect from the fence for the jewels. Get out of town through the north gate. That's a great introduction and a good set of uh, uh, objectives. You're a professional, no sense killing any innocent bystanders. Opposite to 2500 gold, an expert. You're in enough trouble tonight. Town guards will never stop hunting you, for hunting for you if anyone is killed. Don't give them a reason. And 3500 gold. I really like that. Uh, I'll never stop hunting for you if anyone is killed. Don't give them a reason. Good, good wedding. All right, let's go hard. I don't want to kill innocent bystanders, but if I have to kill a guard, you know, or if I have to accidentally take fall damage and not want to die from it sometimes, hard is good. Uh, alright, let's, uh, let's go. I see thee there! Who art thou? I shall spy the air long. Am I supposed to have made a dash for it already? I'm a little confused because I didn't really have time to process anything. I'm just picking up my equipment and this journal I'm, that according to read me I'm supposed to read. Well let's read it. <clears throat> Seventh. Or is that the twentieth? No, that's the twentieth, okay. Lord Fishkill has announced that he is selling a fabulous set of jewellery and is on display in his humble lodging for all prospective buyers. Yeah, his humble mansion. I think this might be a really good job if I can find a fence that can handle something this big. Sometimes I miss Cutty. This is too big a deal to handle by myself. I'll never be able to fence these jewels after the heist. They'll be hotter than a bunch of hammers after the trickster's minions. Looks like I need to find someone who can handle the jewels. Who do I know who I can trust not to knife me as soon as my back is turned? Hmm, maybe Cudgett. I like his name is Cudgel, but we're just with a, the, 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 a line across the L, right? Just to make it Cudgett. I've got to deal with Cudgett. We'll split 60-40. I take most of the risks and he puts up most of the money and makes the contacts for information and bribes. He also knows a fence out of town who can handle the tools. I hope this works out. I'm not fond of working with a partner. We rented this dump of an apartment because it's out of the way and no one here knows us. It also has easy access to the back alleys, the rooftops and the sewers. The locks on the doors were junk. I could pick them in two seconds, so I changed them all. I don't want someone breaking in here and finding out what we're up to. I just hope we don't have to stay here too long. We were casing the old quarter today near the east side of Lord Fishkill's mansion. This crazy old guy, Foul Old Ron, keeps barracks and a pen under his house. He was putting up a ladder next to his house so he can get into his place without going into the pens when his barracks are acting up. We convinced him it would be better behind his house and hidden from watching eyes. This ladder will give us possible access to Lord Fishkill's mansion by the upper guard patrol route. We've got to get some maps of the layout to see if this is a good, if this is a good way in. I've got to get some time to get over to Newmarket and visit Narcus's store and pick up some gear. Narcus has installed a secret door from the back alley for contraband and to allow me access. He still won't give me a key. He says I can pick the lock when I need to see him. Narcus took over the store from his brother Fargus after he was mistakenly killed by Ramirez's assassins. He deals with me because of what I did to Ramirez. He looks just like Fargus. Amazing that two brothers could be both be so ill-favoured. Oh, Carrot. One of Cudgett's contacts got us a map of Lord Fishkill's estate. 
I have no idea how much Kajad is spending on bribes, but this is going to start cutting into profits soon. It's a good map, though. Kajad has gotten in touch with Logan, a real information merchant in rumours. They call him the Spider because he sits in the middle of this web of informants. Logan pretty much knows everything going on in town. He's getting a lot of inf interesting information for us. It seems that Lord Fishkill has the jewellery on display in the upper gallery in his mansion. Some servants have been telling Logan's men that there are only two guards on patrol at night in the gallery. The jewellery isn't put into the basement vault. He must trust the guards a lot. I wonder if he also has an alarm system that he trusts. Lord Fishkill has a buyer. Rumour has it the buyer has offered 15000 for the collection. We should be able to get 9000 from the fence for it. Maybe this will be a fairly profitable adventure after all. Now to get hold of it before it's gone. I think we'll be ready in two more days. Everything seems to be falling apart. There's a rumour on the street that the jewellery collection was going to be stolen, and now it's been moved into the vault to protect it. City guards have been sent out to all known or suspected thieves' homes just to make sure. I hope no one has discovered this place yet. Cutter has gone out to find out what he can. I'd better lay low. Did the bastard turn me in? No one knew we were here. Now there are guards standing outside this dump looking for me. Where is Kudrit? Somebody's going to pay for this. I'm out all this money we've spent setting up this job. I'm broke. Looks like I'll have to pull this job off anyway all by myself. If I can find Kudrit, he's a dead man. Well, at least it can't get any worse. Alright, well, let's see. Here's the thing about, about loot values, right? The buyer offered 15000 for the collection of jewels, right? That we're spending time. We should be able to get at least 9000 you know, around 9000 from the fence. For this collection of jewels that we spent, what's it, the 15th? It's like a, almost a month in planning. And now, Garrett wants to, on expert, get three and a half thousand in one night just from going around the town? That doesn't add up. That doesn't add up with 9,000. It's like, okay, for a couple of nights that going around town, you would have got 9,000 anyway without all this trouble with a partner, without all this mess, but never mind. We only have to get, what, 20... As soon as I find you, you're dead! 2,500? Yeah. Cease thy hiding, Craven. I couldn't fit out this window, so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go, but I just get... hide in this corner, I suppose. Oops, that was my phone not being on silent. Here we are, fixed. Well, unfortunately, time doesn't pass while you're reading, so this guy was busy. Uh... Thou shalt not escape me. Yes, I shall escape thee. That is the point. It would be a pretty boring mission if I did not escape thee. I shall spy thee ere long. So you can put out candles, but they don't highlight. Hello. Oh, I was going to say, is this a... Oh. Well, that is big enough to escape down, perhaps. Hmm. Not sure I want to. Oh, I, I recognize this map. Where are we? Where's our... We're in home turf, okay. Well, this is out of the way, but this is the same out of the way place that we were... Isn't this the same out of the way place that we were hanging out in uh, when we did the Ramirez drop? I guess it wasn't that long ago. Lord Fishkill's main gate, okay. Guardhouse. What about the map of... Oh, and we've got a sewer map, alright. I'm not sure what the exits mean, but... Exits, maybe? Right, uh, the map of his place. We've got guards, the main gate. We've got the same floor plan on both floors. That's, uh, garden servants not allowed in here. Okay, there's the gallery. But there's a basement somewhere. Servants entrance, guards entrance, isn't it? Is over here, okay. Alright, well... What about through this door? Hello? Apartment key, is that...? Alright, let's get us out on the streets. 
quite dark. These guys are not doing a good job of uh, trying to catch somebody. Oh, where the hell am I going? Right, let's see. Alright, let's start right this way. Okay. <laughs> Next out here. Right, do we have Narcus's as a shop mark? I mean, is he. Did he take up a Farkas' shop? Is it the same place? Conditions are a little weird. Hello, what is this place that has more stairs on the shelves? And an accidentally strong sound of uh, canals. Duh! I've been accepted! The new mechanist's order will take me in as a novice, even though those damn hammers wouldn't have me. The mechanists have such great ideas for the future of the city, and they're not afraid to use their technology. I'll get a small weekly stipend, which I won't really need. If you come to visit me every fifth day, about the eighth hour, after morning services, I'll give you the money. I'm afraid to send it through the post. The money would never reach you. Your loving son, Errol. Right, because uh, timeline-wise, I believe this is supposed to be in between Thief 1 and 2. Got a carrot. Well, sorry, Errol, I'm hungry. Access the sewers, okay. I'm not keen to go wading through sewers when I don't have to. I'm gonna go up our ladder. What was up? <sighs> right, well, it's noisy. Okay, it's just coming, it's the same place as it just gives me a bit of visibility or something. Oh, but no, maybe I can get out over there. Alright. <laughs> or drop down here. Who's who's is this place? Do I wanna try this? Okay, then get burnt, man. Well, more... And the smells in these bathrooms must be horrific. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, I just assumed that wasn't a door, because that's a texture that's not a door texture. That's the opposite of the usual problem. We have in most missions where it's a door that doesn't look like a door, but here it's a... It's a not a door that is a door. That's extremely unexpected. Weird that it doesn't seem to be the texture is not built on it. All right, we're right here by the well. Thank you. Not sure. Uh oh, oh, that's where I came in from. Okay. was quiet, but a minor disturbance outside. Nothing worth bothering about. He had just settled in to sit and read, waiting to catch elusive sleep. 
warmth, comfort, and a fabulous book to read. What else could he need to finally get some well-deserved rest? Absorbed by the story, he felt himself relaxing, passing through layers of ease, tensions unwound. He let himself drift. Sleep was so hard to entice. If he tried too hard, he would chase her away. As he sat, falling into a light doze, the thief snuck up behind him. Even as this miscreant stealthily drew closer, an even more subtle danger was approaching the thief. What a night could easily be fatal for this criminal. Drawn into a deadly web of intrigue and lies, little could he imagine the fate waiting for him at the end of his road tonight. Feeling uneasy, his sixth sense urging him to caution. Creepy. <laughs> I like that. I like that, the novelist. Could be writing about me. So what's that key for? Is it for this chest by chance? Probably, right? No. But it is locked. Maybe the key was the front door, but that would make sense. And I just picked the lock instead of taking the key because I found him after I found the front door. Alright. Noisy beds, okay. Right to self, we have noisy beds. And awkward ones, collision wise. Oh, wrong key. Yeah, okay, that's this, that is the store here. Yeah, I'm what? Just leave the key on the map. Okay, so where are we now? Still in the same home turf area. Wait, have I been in there? Oh, is that... That's my apartment. Okay, the guys hunting for us have gone. So this is just a place across the street. Okay. I mean, it's a... Alright, and there's the well, the alley comes out. Yeah, yeah. Those guys have gone. Forge is still active, that's kind of surprising. So I've heard footsteps. Lost City Engine is still there? Hmm, it's unclear. There's something down there. Using the, it's a, it's a modified, of course. Uh, and sometimes very oddly modified. <laughs> these, these little passages cut out are kind of... I mean, they're good for going around. This is a new place. Hang on. I want to be methodical here. That's getting further west. Oh, well, I mean... Riverside... Silly of me. Last time I listened to a woman. Hmm? Didn't quite catch hmm. that. Hey there. Just because you work for the nobles, you don't have cause to be putting on airs. <laughs> well, they're uh, having fun. I like that they've uh, actually hooked up the sitting down animations. The transitions to sitting and standing, which. Uh, Exists in the motion database, but the original game never used because it's kind of well, getting people to successfully, getting AIs to successfully sit down and stand up smoothly is actually really complicated and doesn't really. Oh, okay, this is a dead end. I thought that was in mind. Doesn't really achieve very much. Okay, that's been opened. I see. And so that connects around to where those people are, right? Right, so this is what I saw was this river. Heading westwards. Oh, there's guards out here too. Uh, do I have a plan? I mean, 
I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Where's the north gate? Get out of town through the north. Wait a minute, is that north? No, this river runs west. Okay. It's fine. It's on the west side. It's called the north gate. I, I don't mind that. As long as it's, uh... What's this area all about, then? Oh, how silly of me. Basement that he was coming to and again for. Mm -hmm. Some valuables, I suppose. Or is he going to the mm -hmm. kitchen? Mm -hmm. Not the basement. I think down here. Right, he opened the basement door because he went too close to it. Right, I see. <laughs> now where are you going? Oh, it does go down to the basement. <laughs> Sir's an idiot. It's not like we'll get more until the shortage is over. Thing to say to yourself all of a sudden. Kitchen doors open, huh? How strange. All right, I want to go upstairs. Should be done soon. These are points like I don't remember hearing ever. Maybe they're just cut out of conversations and I just don't remember them. They are a little clipped off at the edges. <laughs> Opens the window to look out, nice. Want to let the fresh air in. Alright, you get there and I'm gonna go upstairs. Appreciate the amount of detail that's going into the scripting there, even if it's uh Well oh, you guys <laughs> Sir's an idiot. It's not like we'll get more until the shortages are over. I mean that, sir. So that's a problem. That guy had valuables, right? Bull and Finch. Oh, the signboard's waving in the wind. Quite strongly, but... Uh... Oh, that's a nice, <laughs> nice touch. Um, How do I... How am I going to go do this? Got electric lights. I don't see any way to turn off electric lights. That guy in the chair is very short. I mean, I could just run in and run out and, and hope to lose him, and maybe that's the best plan. Help! Help! Oh, don't let him get me! Help! He is very short. Just retreat into the shadows. Hmm, maybe not the best shadows to retreat into. Well, I can always jump in the water, right? I've got a good escape route. I've got coffee. Oh shit, that's bad.
So instead of going back to uh, the room, they rented, he decided to stay on watch, just sitting here. That's extremely inconvenient for me. All right. I guess I'm gonna have to go some treasure. Do you see me? Yeah, I think you did. I see your blood yet. Ah, you saw me here. All right, well. Problem solved, maybe. Can I see this door? Oh yeah. Well, this guard. Oh. A little too close for comfort. note so most pipes can be climbed so let's yeah let's climb it <sighs> okay so that gets us on the roof here which does what for us exactly okay, keeps us out of arm's way is somewhat temporarily at least Ah, oh, this wall is convenient. I think we scared off all the other guests. That's a little unfortunate. Good ladder. You can walk onto it. Good ladder placement. Sticks up a little bit so you can see it's there, and it sticks up enough so that you can walk onto it, and you can uh, goes down. Right, right by the ground, so you can walk off it. At the bottom. No jumping needed, no hassle needed, no, no real risk. But I comment on that because that's so rare, because... Oh. Shit. Where the hell did you come from, and why are you looking over there? It's not the guy who came breaking in here. Hmm, right, let's get back on our route. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to resort to the sewers. <laughs> who was that? Did I come up here? Oh, he was a guy out on the street that this guy spooked, I guess? Coming hunting for me? Interesting. Well, I don't need to go back here unless I want to check out the Lost City entrance. Which I kind of want to. I'm just going to quick load after this. Probably. I see, it's been sealed off. Well, maybe I won't quick load. If I can go, if I can get somewhere this way, I'll like quick load. Being on the roof is obviously more convenient, but... There's a ladder here. And an archer. And lots of light. <laughs> Damn it. Hi, man. I don't know, who knows where he went. Right. Do we have any dark alleys here? I need to get this guy off the beaten path. This is not dark. Close. Uh, 
comes in here. Alright, we'll try that corner. Out of the way enough, I think. Let's have our carrots and do like. It's kind of neat having uh, them take the city from assassins and expand on it and make it, you know, make it bigger, make it, uh, give you other ways around. I mean, it's metal and extremely loud. Oh, my ears. Also quite loud. Where the hell are we? There's more I wanted to explore back where we were, but where we seem to be going north. Uh, I'm not quite really ready to do that yet. Hmm. Oh, we'll see how we go. Oh, we could get up there. Right where? Smiths? As soon as I, find you, you're dead. I don't think we need to worry about the archer up here. Just, just blank metals. Healing potion, that could be useful. This ladder is also well placed, right? Because I was able to walk right off the ladder onto the ground. Uh, which doesn't normally happen when you people put ladders between uh, floors like that. What's the bottom? This is this is like ladder heaven. I mean, if you if you take the premise that thief generally is ladder hell, which is you know uh, certainly many people might argue that, and I would not be overly inclined to disagree. Then uh, practice. Make sure we strip it out iron. Yeah, good enough. So, why is that light up? Oh, because they've animated it. Nice. Okay, this ladder I can probably can't just walk off. <sighs> Douse that candle, that's a bio risk. It seems that all of the work is drying up. If it hadn't been for that commission from Lord Fishkill, it looks like it'd have been gone months ago. That was a good job, fitting all of his people in new livery. But it was just one job, and there haven't been enough repairs to keep the business going. Just not enough crime, I guess. No damage to the armor. Maybe I should start a crime wave. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that'll be the day. Guess it's early retirement for me. I'll have to find some place cheaper to live. Good idea the door's unlocked. Even if I don't intend to go out it because I'm in easy as I'm escape. Right, right. Oh, that's not right. Okay, so that's. Okay, so if we wanted to go back south, we could. Oof, something really loud there. Incredibly loud, sorry about that. Bad on my ears, I'm sure it's bad on your ears. Alright, um... What was I saying about good ladders? <laughs> oh, I can walk off it. Right, there's this ladder I wanted to climb here. I knew there was something else I wanted to see out this way. Alright, well I've taken enough damage. <laughs> to make the healing potion worthwhile now. So. <laughs> this is 
be a walkable ledge. It feels a little... Yeah, I'm out of the room boxes. That's not... That's not where I'm supposed to be. It's not supposed to be reversible, I guess. Right, this is that grassy bit there. I guess the idea is you can get on the rooftops and get across. And bypass the guards that way. Hmm. I think it will go back south. I think I still want to uh, explore back the way we can. <laughs> I haven't been in this trip by then. Which might be it. Why have I? I don't think so. Let's go to Mahimi if I, if I jump from here. I'll wait till he moves away a bit. That's probably fine. Heard it, but he wasn't close enough to speak him. Rats. Just rats. Just rats clambering on rooftops. Ah, oh, here's the alley where I should have to play. Can't really get down safely though. Guard down below us. As soon as I find you, you're dead. Yeah, it is, of course. Oh, he's coming this way. Oh well. Did I mention a bit of cup of coffee? I'll find you. Damn you. He's looking in the right place, just not the right vertical orientation. Also, he's Come out and fight me! Stuck on the ladder, but. It's a little awkward. I think I might have to come out and fight him, as he suggests. Don't think. I didn't, I just acted. Okay, well. Right. I was out here on the rooftop, so I kind of want to get back to the rooftops. Have I been in here? This looks familiar. Yes, yes, okay. Right, our rooftops are overlooking. This is this is this takes us back. This is my apartment again. All right, slight slight diversion. We're going up here for the third time today. Better get out of here quick. Says Garrett, and then he says, "Oh well, oops, I've got something. I better come back. Oh no, I better get out of here. No, I better go back. No, I better." Garrett, the decisive thief. <laughs> Okay, this, that's, we can get out of the water there. Right, this light is a problem. This is a big problem. We're stuck in the ladder, ladder movement mode or something? Yeah, it's not, it's not viable. It's really weird. To, Okay. 
No, we don't use that letter. <laughs> Maybe we do. Tops back. Relative safety. Where did I want to go from here? I don't remember. Oh, this is nowhere. It'll take me back to the river if I want to keep going along the river. But then this way it didn't. And you know what? Let's just do that. I feel like I've exhausted the possibilities here for the moment. Heard that, but uh, he won't be able to pursue us. Let's go well past. Oh, wait, it was a dead end up here, wasn't it? Oh god, I don't even remember anymore. I just feel like I've got three things, three things niggling in the back of my head of like, uh, what well, you wanted to go to this place, you wanted to go to that place. Well, you know what we should do? We should absolutely get rid of our apartment key. Right, back up here again. Okay, so where we knocked out those two guys, it's got to be, you know. Yeah, we gotta go back up through downtown. I don't, we're not getting through here because of what for. Okay. Alright. I think I kind of understand my plan. See, with ladders, if you walk, if you're going at walking speed, you will go onto them. Right? If they're placed properly at the top, you just need to walk forward onto them. If you're running, you won't. This is. This is lead him on a merry goose chase again. Garrett's just in love with this, this, uh, downstairs. With this apartment, he just will not leave it. <laughs> uh, okay. So, have I robbed this place here? Yeah. Feel like maybe not. <coughs> that didn't hurt as much. No, we've been in here yet. Okay, there's a place around the corner then that I had not dropped. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe there, maybe I've just think, seen that place and not realizing I've been in it already. Okay, we're, we're making forward progress now. <clears throat> Thought I heard something. He's, he's, he's a shot. Doing my lock picking. saved. <laughs> ah, alright. Quick load. Alright, it's right here. It's right from this side. That was one thing that you fixed in Thief 2, is that uh, if doors were opening and got stuck on the way, the opening problem again and always closed. You could get out of situations like that. Uh, in Thief 1, the gold scripts, the door scripts did not work that way. Oh, that's... Ah, that 
it feels like that could be another interior door, but uh, I'll just make sure all this stuff works. You know, it'd be a shame. It'd be a shame if it didn't work. This mechanism is broken. Check the upstairs, and we might be going out that door. I'm not sure. Flash bombs. What does it say? Dear valued customer, these are examples of my work. Please notice the fine craftsmanship and attention to detail, especially in my spelling. No project is too large or too small. Custom devices are my specialty. Nice maker, okay. I wanted to keep an eye on the guard, I suppose I could, but... I would rather not have the guard have the option... I would rather the guard not have the option of seeing me, I think that's what I'm trying to say. If this was more like it, if I want to keep an eye on things. There's an armorist there. Okay, so that's heading further up the street that we haven't, you know, that we haven't been in. I have enough work to last me for a while, but new orders are coming in very slowly. Everyone is enamored of the new mechanist machines. No one seems to want the old, reliable technology that I build. I think that in another year or two that'll drive me out of business. I wonder if the mechanists will teach me some of their new tricks? No, that would never happen. Well, if they don't drive you out of business, I will drive you out of valuables first. Now let's put a different door key. Oh no, it's a chest key, okay. Well, you know what? You can have the key back. Oh, it's got another key. Oh, they're two different keys. Hmm. What's that guard reacting to? Okay, well, the side door was locked, right? down here that I saw. Right. Yeah, that is the, the keys for those doors. Okay, let's just pretend he's left his keys here among all this stuff. That should teach him. He's up behind his house. Hello. Another of these thin alleyways. Okay, this is and this is the front door, right? Right, so we're just up the up the street a little from his house. There's the armors. Alright, we've been there. We've been in the cross that bridge, right? Yes, 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 yes. We haven't been to the armors. I heard something. Nothing. It's the strange clacking. Oh. Well, I mean, hmm. Two people here. There's a sword just sitting in the middle. That's... Are they gonna have a conversation or something? They're not even making idle animations. Down, down from up there. Good, yeah, you saw me. Fuck. Dear Valley Customer, I have run into the interior of my shop. Please use the entrance to the left of the building. Alright, well, we're escaping this guy before he knows where we've gone.
I'm going up this way, this way again. <laughs> been down here. Dear Shopper, this is the latest in elegant protective wear. Note the stylish golden helm, the matching highlights in the mail shirt, belts and boots. Truly a fashionable statement, while thoroughly protecting oneself or your staff. We can outfit one person or an entire organization. Please see any one of our salespeople to check on prices, colors, or availability. Custom orders will be cheerfully estimated. Wow, the lightness of your uh, waxworks is very good too. I didn't realize this was just a costume display. Dear shopper, for the stealthier, more subtle protective gear, don't want your guests to see the security force. Simply equip your staff people with the latest in subtle background matching armor. Custom coat of arms or company logo on the breastplate is included in the price. I guess that makes sense. This is his display. Showroom. Also, I am quite badly hurt now. Onwards. Downward. Oh, okay, this is one of the sewer exits. Guess we have not been in the sewer at all. Okay. Maybe I should explore the sewers and. Is it going to be looting the sewers or just a lot of very filthy water? It must be here. This is branch to go south and west. Well, I guess Garrett's going to be aromatic for the rest of the evening. Yeah, we've we've seen some of these entrances. Well, probably all three of them, to be quite honest. Nothing down here. Wish I had another healing potion. But brushing up against that forge was uh, did quite a lot of damage. I think. Nobody drops any coins in the sewers anymore. But wash down wallets. Well, We're in the sewers now. We might as well use them to our advantage, right? Ugh, hold your breath. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Oh, cool. Pit with spiders. More spiders, even. What is that? Is that not just a rock? No, an accumulated lump of matter of the kind that one might expect to find in a sewer. Good work, Garrett, coming and doing a close up inspection of uh, poop. Really, uh. What are you doing well? Okay, so we are. Uh... I want, to, I want to go back out on the streets first. We've got more of the streets to deal with before we go to what's the next place. That seems to be a way into what's the next place. Oh, it's just it came down here. All right. Oh! Did you hear that sound? It's Burrick up there. This is Burrick Boom. Okay. <laughs> nice. Disgusting. What is this? I didn't see this switch. The lower levels of the sewers are overrun by spiders. Giant ones! I've never been so scared in my life. We've managed to lure them into the room below. When the next heavy rain comes, we'll flood this room and drown the lot of them. 
Build the builder's sake, don't open this gate. New objectives. Don't kill the two spiders. What? Why not? I don't have to come down here, do I? Is there any reason to be down here? It doesn't look like it. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong side of the damn... Wrong side of the damn ladder. Are they not hostile? Or are they just still blinded by the flash bombs? They didn't see me? Weird. Ah, all right. I have a an inkling as to what that might be. Relevant for, and let me put it. If uh, perhaps you might be caught up in the intrigues of a person, perhaps say by the name of, hmm, I don't know, something like Morgan or Gorgon, whose kind of nickname might be Arachnid, something like that. Then, uh, if they were behind all this, wouldn't it be poetic? If they found themselves in a deep pit full of spiders. Waste of a flash bomb on my part, but you know. Exploring was, was I think, worthwhile. Where's this guy going? Past this door. Okay. He's gone further afield, so we can as well. Nothing in this tower. Man, these towers. Discovering these towers and oh, there's something here. All the way through, and yeah. yeah. Discovering these towers and assassins was like, oh, this is a really cool place, and there was just nothing here in the game. <gasps> oh, this is the bird man. Been a little wrong, yes. See the pile of bark through camera. I found this 
still hear people while I'm snoring up there. Alright, you know, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Well, we've uh, let the dogs out, I mean the barracks. So, um, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon for the next one.